The Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East, a three-class challenge series for emerging talent and enthusiast racers. Six rounds across the Middle East, 12 races in total. Setup is critical, talent and racecraft are how you win. All of Porsche's factory races started in a series like this. It's the largest single make series on the planet. This is the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. After an eventful season opening night race, teams and drivers for the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East had only a matter of hours to prepare for their next challenge. The Bahrain International Circuit is one of the world's finest. Designed by Hermann Tilke in the last decade, it put the Kingdom of Bahrain on the world motorsport map. For the field of Porsche racers supported by Lechner Racing in this one-make series, the circuit is one which challenges their racecraft, their patience and their fitness. In qualifying, the top six are separated by less than a second. This seventh season of the championship is already proving to have some of the tightest competition in the series history. The lights went out with Jeffrey Schmidt in the number two Porsche on pole, sharing the front row with the number nine of Saeed Al Mahiri. It's not a great start for Al Mahiri and he drops five positions by the second corner. The number 913 of Wolfgang Triller had a fabulous start, making up four positions to seventh after a not so great qualifying position. By the second lap, the battles have started to take shape. Zayed Ashenkani in the number one Al Nabuda Racing Porsche GT3 Cup battles it out with Sheikh Hasha Al Maktoum in the number 11. The 11 puts pressure on the back of the number one, but Zayed holds it off. The 14 of Charlie Frines has had a good start, making up a few positions, but by the second lap, he started to drop back through the field. The car was clearly loose on the track, a reminder of the importance of setup in this one make sprint series. Lap four. The number seven of Abdulaziz Al Faisal goes wide after missing a breaking point. That opens the door for Zaid Ashkenani. The seven mounts a spirited fight back, but eventually the one forces the issue and takes enough exit speed out of the corner to make a front straight pass. The number 11 of Sheikh Hasha Al Maktoum takes advantage of the battle and also makes a move. The number 14 also gets involved in the battle. But the action doesn't result in any position gain on the circuit. Abdulaziz Al Faisal and Sheikh Hasha Al Maktoum continue to battle on the start finish straight. The 7 of Al Faisal gets pushed a little wide and drops back. Number 11 moves up to fourth position for the remainder of the race, holding off his skydive to buy Falcons teammate Saeed Al Maheri, who is trying to regain positions after a not so great start. A lockup from Hans Wehmer results in an unsafe re entry to the track that causes a collision with the number 50 car which is immediately out of the race. The field comes back together as the safety car is deployed. Ashkenani in the number one Porsche had made up positions since starting in the seventh spot on the grid. Now trying to challenge for second place after the restart after the safety car. Plenty of pressure, but not a successful pass. At the flag, it's Jeffrey Schmidt who takes the win. Ryan Cullen in second holds off Zayed Ashkenani for third. Sheikh Al Hasha Maktoum is in fourth position. In the silver category, Wolfgang Triller in the 913 takes the win ahead of Saud Al Faisal in the number 73. After two races and the first weekend of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East, Jeffrey Schmidt leads the championship with two victories and 50 points. Brilliant race for me. Second race, second win. Uh, winning is never easy. Uh, can't do any mistakes, but uh, the guys around me were battling quite hard. So uh, I got quite uh, easy away from them. Um, which made life a bit easier for me, but as I said, it's never easy and I'm really, really happy now for the team for the perfect weekend. In the silver category, Wolfgang Triller in the number 913 has held off all of the pressure from Saad Al Faisal this weekend in the 73 Porsche. Issa Khalifa is just one further point behind in third. 